So our first guest discovered her love for baking while in her grandmother's kitchen. Those special memories shaped her life and inspired Jocelyn Delk Adams. NAACP Image Award nominated cookbook. It's called Grand Baby Cakes. And joining us from her kitchen in Prosper, Texas, please welcome Jocelyn. How are you? <laughs> I Hello, love your Cameron. kitchen. How are you? I'm wonderful. Okay, so your kitchen looks too pristine to be bacon. <laughs> you know, listen, you're supposed to have flour everywhere. <laughs> we got to clean it up for CV now, Cameron, okay? okay. Congratulations <laughs> on your NAACP image nomination. What a great honor. Thank you so much. Before you made baking your business, you worked as a TV producer. And after your long days at work, and my team certainly knows those long hours, you wanted to just decompress baking? Yes, it was like my zen. Like I could not wait until I was off of work to get in the kitchen and just roll up my sleeves and get to baking. It's the way I unwind, it's the way I connect to my roots, and it's the way I share something that I absolutely love with so many other people because they get to eat it, right? <laughs> and it's true, and it requires a level of patience and just a level of peace. I love it. I love it, too. So I hear you're doubling down on chocolate today with a pound cake recipe inspired yes. not only by your late grandmother, but just all of the love and affection that your family gave. You called her Big Mama, but yes. also your three-year-old daughter, Harmony, inspired yes. what we're making today. Yes, my baby girl loves some chocolate, okay? So I can't put a brownie around her. I can't put any type of chocolate around her without her digging in. So this cake is really an ode to her as Aww. well and, and definitely my grandmother who inspired all oh of my Oh, my God, that recipes. is so sweet. Okay, so two very special <laughs> people in your life. We're yes. here. So, you know, walk me through it. So the first steps, of yes. the stand mixer. So what do you have there that you're whisking? Yeah, so we've got some butter in here that's room temperature. Big, big no-no when you are baking. Do not use cold butter. You mm -hmm. need room temperature butter so that sugar melts right into it. Okay, I've so got mine going. I've been actually creaming this, okay. yes, for about five minutes. So now we're going to start adding these in one at a time. Oh. Let that get in there. You are killing it, Tamron. Is that what okay. I'm doing? Okay, <laughs> Jocelyn, you're so nice. Okay, listen. <laughs> Pound, I think the pound cake holds a special place in people's hearts because it's something that if you got a new neighbor, take a pound cake. You want a nice yes. little simple treat in your home, bring a pound cake or bake a pound cake. So it is something that hits that, I think, traditional nerve of baking. It does. I think it's also got some Southern roots, too. You know, in the South, people love to bring people pound cakes. It's, it's got that love. It's got that nurturing spirit. Love it's it. so comforting. And you can do so much with it. It's such an adaptable recipe. You okay. can add different flavors and ingredients and really Which make is it why you own. do a chocolate one. People, some people do lemon, some people just make it plain. Yes. So you got your flour, your dry ingredients we're adding now. Yes, we are going to start adding in our dry ingredients and you wanna make sure you slow down your mixer. We're gonna add in some of our flour here. Okay. And you wanna slow this down and not over mix. That's another baking tip I wanna offer you. Okay. Because when you start adding in your flour, your dry ingredients, you can tend to make a tougher cake if you over mix. And we oh, do really? not want a tough cake, we want a nice moist cake. Okay, so that's a great tip. Yes. And then next we're gonna add in our cocoa powder when you're ready. Some of my best memories are being in the kitchen with my grandmother and we used to bake all types of pound cakes. And that was actually where I first learned my love of and joy of baking. Like she really sort of started that for me. And I had no idea at the time, you know, when I was a young girl that this was going to really become my calling, that wow. I truly loved everything about that moment. And the memories today are so special to me that I continue them now. We're gonna keep baking Jocelyn's family recipe for this delicious chocolate pound cake. Stick around. Plus she's going to top it off with her frosting, but for, is it frosting or icing? We'll talk about that, too. Welcome back. Cookbook author, NAACP Image Award nominee and baker extraordinaire, Jocelyn Delk Adams is still with us, and we're making a recipe for a pound cake passed down by her grandmother. It's a chocolate pound cake with a chocolate ganache glaze. And so we have mixed our batter here. And again, all of this is yes. on our website. And so you have the batter, and I'm going to put it in. You butter... Or do you use one of those sprays? 
Yeah, so I actually believe in my own trick at home. Oh. I use one part oil, one part shortening, and one part flour. And I use that to go inside, brush this right inside of our pan. And this makes sure that nothing sticks. Well, you, when I tell you this might be the best baking tip I've heard in a long time. So this is, <laughs> this is, what an easier way than I've been doing yes! with the stick of no butter and then the flour. Oh, oh my gosh, where have oh I been? Oh my gosh, no. Tamara, you save your time, girl. You busy. You don't have to do that. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we <laughs> fill out, and you use a traditional bunt cake pan. Yes, I do. I just pour this right into our pan, and then you can even this out with the spatula, Got get it. all of that goodness out. Okay, and we bake it at what temperature and for how long? About 325 for about 70 to 80 minutes. Okay, 70 to 80 minutes. Once it's done, yeah, I'm, I'm not supposed to do that, but I did. Uh, <laughs> well, once it's done, you pull the cake. Yes, and so this is the moment of truth, right? Your cake comes out of the oven and you are nervous to flip, but you shouldn't be. Wait about 10, 15 minutes, let it cool down. Uh -huh. And because you've done everything you need it to do, it's gonna come out perfectly. Okay, you ready to flip? Yes, I'm ready to flip. You ready? Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, let's see how you do here. Oh, oh I was going to get really nervous. <laughs> Full disclosure, I didn't bake that cake, but I was going to throw my team under the bus if it didn't come out. It came out beautifully. Okay, so now we've got our um, ganache topping here. And so you've yes. got with it heavy cream, corn syrup, semi-sweet chocolate chips, and vanilla extract. Absolutely. So you want to heat all of your cream and your corn syrup and add a little vanilla. And then you're going to just add in your chocolate chips mm -hmm. and just whisk that until it's nice and smooth and glossy. Now, do you have a technique for drizzling? I just go all in. You know, Cameron, <laughs> I love to just start okay. at the beginning I'm go and work in. around in a circle. <laughs> Well, see, that's oh, why I like a pound go cake. For it. Let's go. I'm here. I, I'm ahead of you. I jumped out the blocks early. So, <laughs> but that's what again I you love. Ain't scared. <laughs> I love the pound cake in, in this recipe because you don't have to worry about any particular form. You just kind of go for yes. it, and that's the spirit of family. I don't have to worry about what it looks like and if it's perfect as long as it's good. Absolutely, and people love this type of cake because. It is so decadent, it's so rich, and it's mm. so moist and delicious. Congratulations again on making your grandmother proud, making your daughter proud by seeing an amazing role model who pursued her dreams, and making me proud as a Texan <laughs> for representing with this yummy cake. Oh my gosh, Thank congratulations so on everything.